2.9 billion. That's how many people use Facebook every month, well over a third of the planet. And to hear Mark Zuckerberg tell it, the social media company he started to keep track of friends in college is using its enormous power to do good. For most of our existence, we focused on all the good that connecting people can bring. But as former HP CEO Carly Fiorina points out, with great power comes great responsibility. What makes Facebook different is their dominant control over people's lives and in our economy. And a growing number of people find Facebook falling short, such as former Facebook product manager Francis Haugen turned whistleblower. They can't protect us from the harms that they know exist in their own system. It is pulling families apart. And in places like Ethiopia, it's literally fanning ethnic violence. It's not just about harmful content being spread. Former Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein flags another risk. You know, looking through it from a macro point of view, you don't want to let po you know, these poles of high concentration of economic power and influence get into place. So I'd always thought that the tech industry was kind of, in some ways, like financial services on steroids. All of which leads lawmakers, both Republicans and Democrats, to say there has to be more regulation, with Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts calling for Facebook to be broken up. Break them up. Break them up. When we've got lots of competitors in this market, no one dominates in that same way.